Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is, well, not about sockets. I'm sorry, so if this is uh, misleading, but it is what I was working on and is uh, what I wanted to show you about. It's actually about how to make this case in a, with a tool that I've developed and um, I'm going to be introducing it. It's called Sketcher Shapes. So um, I'm introducing this for two reasons, I guess. Um, one is it's something I've been working on to create workbenches. And so it's a workbench that I've made. It's probably not code wise uh, a great workbench um, and it may not even be functionally wise a workbench. So one of the reasons I'm introducing it is for feedback to say, you know, to ask, is this something that anybody would use? Um, but so let me demo it real quick, just so you can get a, a sense of, of why I created it and what I created it for. Um, one of the focuses of, of this, this Sketcher Shapes workbench is also to, uh, is to make it easy to create repeat, repeat shapes easily that aren't available yet in Sketcher. So some of these might become outdated, but let me start out with, uh, let me start out by just doing the case outside. Um, so one of the things I need to add is a zoom to the part when it, uh, when I add it, but there's your basic shape. And if you use FreeCAD at all, you know that this takes a few steps to make a shape like this. Um, it's not hard, but you know, I, I prefer if, if I can to just make something one click. So, um, if I were to continue with this, I would just give it dimensions, but we're just going to, we're just going to play. So to turn this into a case, now all I have to do is I'm going to go into the, uh, the parts workbench or part design. I think I want to do. Yep. And, um, we're going to pat, we're going to add this to a body. So this sketch is going to behave just like any other sketch. Um, except that you see that because I added the body with rounded square selected, it automatically added it. So I'm just going to pad this like I would any other and, um, and we'll just make it a little thicker for, for this. And then I'm going to give it thickness. So right away, you see, we have our, we have our basic case. So that's like a 30 second box. <laughs> um, and I, and I think that's very powerful. The next thing you're going to do is like, say I'm going to add, like in my case, um, on my smart socket, I have a node MCU. So I want to add mounting points for that. So I created a, a sketch your shape tool for that as well. And that's just four holes. So all it does is simply add four holes. Now, for some reason I put these slanted, I don't know why, um, just to show that it's, to show that it's individually constrained and it's not locked to the axis. So it's easy to move around as needed in the sketch and, and hold its constraints. So that's what I was, you know, that's what I was going for. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if that's wise or not, but you know, we'll see what happens. So I, I made it vertically. Um, so it's, well, so like say I'm doing a node MCU, I, it'd probably be, uh, I think it's like, we'll just, we'll just do an approximation. We'll make it uh, 40. I don't know why I'm getting, let's try it this way. So let's just select a line and we'll do uh, 40. And then we'll do this line. We'll do, I don't know why that one's uh, blocking me. Anyway, we'll just do it by hand there. And one of the things I've noticed is uh, in so a lot of circumstances, it's easier to drag around things with construction lines and not get it resized and whatnot. So now I would have, so now I have these four holes that I can, you know, I can put this, add this to the body and I can pad these just like I would anything else. And I'll have I'll have posts for for whatever I'm making. So let's uh, let's lower these. Let's lower the pad, and then we're going to put holes in the pad. For some reason, my arrows don't show up. So let's say let's say I wanted to make these uh, posts that you just set the the uh, you know the circuit board on. Let's make this 3.5, and then all I'd have to do is add another set of holes. So I'm going to go back to my sketcher shapes add another set of holes um and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna you know i'm not gonna constrain them to this i'm just gonna kind of position them over it for this go around so this isn't how you would do it it's just uh just a demo of of you know how much easy so how much easier it can be and um and the fact that uh you, you could do you know, if, if you if you if we create some uh, workbenches and whatnot in, in Sketcher, we could we could make it a lot easier for everyone. So we're not doing the mundane tasks over and over again. 
uh, good enough to get the idea. So now I'm just gonna, uh, you know, put that in the body as well. Let's put that in the body as well. There we go. And do part design, pad that. And you see, you know, you get the idea. I can have some pegs for my thing very, for, for my board very quickly. Um, so some of the other things that, some of the other shapes. So what I did was I just made shapes as I thought of them. Some of them are probably stupid. Um, oh, you know, one was a bracket for, for boards. So if I wanted to do a, a, a vertical board, um, so if the, so this one's, this one is constrained, constrained to the center, this version of it. So, um, so in this case, I would just do, uh, you know, I would extrude that. And that's like to put a, to slide a board or whatever in vertically. You, you of course wouldn't have it mixed in with that. Um, let's keep going. So Sketcher, oops, Sketcher shapes. I need to work on my icon a little bit. Try to fit too much in there. So I did some that I thought, let's hide this thing. So I, did, I just did some that I thought might be interesting. I don't know. I have no idea if they are or not. So this is just a, a regular trapezoid. Um, and here a parallelogram. And this, uh, this I'm still working on the icon. I have a generator to make these icons and it can't handle arcs yet for, it can't generate SVGs. And this one has some problems, as you'll see now. I'll, let me create it again. So like uh, occasionally the first time I created it, oops, it did it both times this time. Yeah, so that one, that one, let's just delete everything and try one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what the, uh, it doesn't want to work this time. Anyway, so here's an arrow. So the idea is, is this is just a linkage between two, two objects that need a mechanical linkage. I have a rounded square. This is a centered square. So this is a square that already has the measurements added and it's centered on the axes. So, you know, um, with, with regular sketch, you'd have to, you'd have to do this and then you'd have to uh, center it. Oh, this one's not centered on the axes but you'll notice that it's constrained so it can be moved around. And that's, that's one of the things I wanted was that, you know, um, you know, an object that was constrained enough that I can move it in the X, Y, and dimension without it deforming. That's kind of my goal, but it doesn't always work. Um, I should have, so this should just be a square, a measured square, and then I should have a centered square. So let's keep going. So then I have, uh, this is a sawtooth. <laughs> um, I made that for something, and I, I did it twice. So anyone that I do twice, I, uh, I create a sec. You know, I uh, create a shape for. I did a plus sign, and th and then this one in might be interesting. Is um, is this is just? Let me get rid of these. This is just a USB uh, a port. So it's a micro USB port. So now the first, my first thought is, well, well, these are just parts, and I'm like, well, yeah. So th they're sort of like a parts parts um, depot or library for sketches so they're not fully formed parts they're just shapes that we that you would you know often use in a sketch so that's it um that's all i'm doing for this um this is a project that i hope to work on someday and release is uh, is how to make a smart socket you know using arduino uh, esp386 not arduino relay board and this is where your power supply would go and how to design it in uh, KiCad and freecad and whatnot um, so if you like this, um, I, I think I'm going to put the uh, code for this on uh, via Patreon. Um, so check in over there and message me on Patreon if, if you're interested in this and you want it. Um, you can find my Patreon at that math code print. Um, just like every, every other social media I have is all math code print. So have a great day and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.